Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm defending my belt against Gus once again. I'm tired of doing all of these rematches, but I've decided to make these type of videos into topic videos. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my experience at the gym. Yes, I recently joined the MMA and boxing gym, so I'll tell you guys all about it. But let's have an answer to the fight first. Yo, this is Dominic Cruz. I'm backstage at your fight, and I just want to say good luck, man. This is Michael Mayday McDonald. I just want to say good luck on your upcoming fight, and don't forget, it's just another day in the office. I'm rooting for you. Cool. All right, so guys, um, first thing I want to let you guys in on is that I am currently 230. 37 pounds now um, I'm six foot and it's time for me to get back down to a weight that I like and you know can live with so basically I joined the gym um, it is a MMA slash boxing gym in North Philly uh, my boy John Marquez from the airport actually runs this gym now I started off doing the circuit training with one of my boys Mike that works at the job but <laughs> John is actually trying to get me into the whole MMA side of things so I will be hitting the mat after every workout so you know it'll be cool let's skip all of this let's skip all of this too so basically right uh my days of going to the gym is nice body shot good shot Right. Yeah, get your stamina in the back, baby. So, the first day at the office, um, I had to do an assessment test. Every fighter slash person that comes there to train or work out has to do an assessment test, right? So, the assessment test consists of planks, push-ups, squats, and sit-ups. Not including having to do a warm-up, which is run a mile. Now... They time you on how long you run a mile, and I ran a mile in about, I say, eight minutes. Ah, let's flip. So, ah, uh, come on. Here we go. Nice punch. Ah, come on. Oh, I had you right there, bro. There you go. All right, grab him. There you go. Nice way to stack, but I'll flip you here. Oh, nice way to fall back down. Good flip. All right. So, basically, for the plank, I had to plank for, I think it was a minute. And the boy Mike told me that a lot of people couldn't plank for even a minute. And I planked for about a minute and a half to a minute and 45 seconds, which was pretty cool. Oh, good stuff. Oh, man. Here we go. Come on. Oh, nice. I'm out. You're not going to choke me out, bro. That's for damn sure. Alright. Nice kick. <laughs> Alright. Let's slam them and they get back up. Because I need some stamina. Alright, so. Now, when it came to the plank, did that for a minute and a half. And then I had to go right into push-ups. So, just imagine... Matter of fact, this is what I want y'all to do at the crib. Plank for about a minute and a half and then try to do push-ups. And tell me how many push-ups you could do within three minutes. Now, I had to do a certain amount of push-ups in three minutes. And I could only do 40 push-ups. Like, literally, like, I'm dead serious. Like, this is no lie. Ah, right, come on. Grab him. Grab him. There we go. Ah, come on. You can flip him here. Gustafson is really kicking my ass right now. There we go. Alright, he wants to stand up. Alright, let's get some stamina back. Come on. Let's go. Nice shot. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to have to end this one. 
can't I can't play like this. Alright. I know I can run around for a minute and a half. Let's go. Alright. Now that I got my stamina back, I'm good. So I did the 40 push-ups in about three minutes. I think it was like 40 or 43. And after I got done, I had to hop right into sit-ups. Now, what the hell? It's bull crap. All right, we're going to go the other way then. Ah. He's in half guard here. Come on. Come on. I know you can mount him. He's in his half guard here. Come on. I know you can mount him. And he turns it around to full guard. Gustafson Come on. with a punch to connect. There we go. Elbows of death. So, I did a probably about I say 45 sit-ups in about a minute. And the funny thing is, after I got done doing the sit-ups, your boy had to take a smash. Like, no lie, I had to take a smash. So, I took the smash, right? Came back. And then I did my squats. Now, it was how many squats you could do in about three minutes. Um, I think he said I did about a hundred squats in three minutes. Now this is where you can stop, you can go, you know what I'm saying? You can you can do whatever you want. So after I got done the squats, right, he asked me one question. Are you good to go? I said I said, Yeah, for what? He told me to start working in with the other guys. Now let me tell you some of the workouts that, that he had over there. He had the rope where you know you gotta swing the rope with two hands, you gotta squat and lean back a little bit and swing the rope. He had the bike, of course. He had the tire where you had to jump on the tire, jump in the middle of the tire, and then jump back out and put your feet on the side of the tire. Um, then you had to go to the bike, and then you had to go to the leg press. After you got done the leg press, you had to grab the dumbbells and do uh, side curls and then up one and then back down as many as you could do. And then he had the weight resistance bands where you had to do flies, you know what I'm saying, with the resistance bands. Then the next workout was um, he had to do pull-ups with, uh, I think, resistance bands, but you had to lay down and do it. So I was laying on my back. I pulled up on the bands, and then I had to pull myself up, which was crazy. Then after you got done that, you had to grab a weight bag, and you had to squat with it. Uh, let me get them off. Uh, uh, nice way to block the transition. There we go. Elbows. Let me get them up. Uh, Alright. Now I can get up. Alright, so. After I got done that. Oh, high knee. Oh, nice high knee. Nice move. Ah. Nice punch. But I'm on top now. What's up? Ooh, you lucky I ain't come with that one. So... Oh, what the hell just happened? All right. Nice move. Gotcha. Oh, nice stuff. He is kicking my ass this time around. Do want to pass? There we go. There we go. Nice way to stop it. Oh man, you want to stack me? Oh, nice way to 
Block my transition. Come on, let's go. There we go. Come on, elbows, big elbows. Ah, nice way to get out of that. All right, I'm, I'm staying right here and get my stamina in the back. Nice uppercut. Ah, uh, come on, let's go. Nice slam. So, um, I did a little bit of circuit training, right? Now, we were doing one-minute rounds of every single workout, right? And after only one round, I felt like I had to throw up. All right, I had to spam elbows for the win. So, basically, right, I did one round, all the workouts, and I felt like I had to puke. So, I went to the bathroom, right? I spit out one chunk, and my chest was hurting so bad that I chose not to throw up. So, I had to run water in my mouth, and then I had to get back out there. Like, you can't, ain't no stopping. Ain't no stopping in me. Ain't no quitting me. So, I did my second round of the workouts. Then we had to run one last lap around as a cool down. And then we got straight to the ab work. Now, when people think of ab work, they're thinking, all right, this dude about to hit the mat, get on the mat, do his ab work. No. He had us outside at the park on concrete doing ab work, yo. I did bicycles. Um, I did butterflies. I had to, like, lay on my back, grab my ankle. Like, it was, it was just insane. Now, he does different workouts and different circuit training all the time. So, I'm going to tell y'all right now, it ain't going to be none of the same stuff for me. And with me hitting the mat, man, I hope I learned something. Like, I was um, I was working with my boy John, and he tried two things with me. Me try to pass his guard, and him try to pass my guard. Now, when I tried to pass his guard, I knew nothing about passing his guard. Um, he almost put me in a choke, <laughs> which is pretty cool, but I got a few pointers from guys. They told me that I had to drive the bone of my elbow against the bone of his thigh in order to let him release me because he had his legs wrapped around my back and locked. So I learned a few things like that. It was pretty dope, um, And I, but I, I still didn't get to pass his guard. I got him to free up a little bit. Now, this dude, he's been doing MMA for years now, so you know what I'm saying no, ain't no newbie just going to hop on the mat and get it popping. Now, um, it was a moment where he tried to pass my guard. He tried to get me inside of a, um, a arm bar, but I got out that joint. Um, and also, it was a time where he tried to pass my guard, and the dude was giving me tips as we were on the mat. And I actually got him to, like, like I, I basically wrapped my legs around him as tight as I could, grabbed one of his arms. His arm was, like, way up here, and I just held him like this. See what I'm saying? Just choked him as much as I could. But that wasn't like no submission type move. It was just a move for me to survive. Like, yo, if anybody does 10 minutes on a mat, like, I, I like I totally clap it up to you. Like, like it, it's just insane how, you know, people that do MMA and UFC and all of that, like, a lot of people are always talking about, man, I could do that and everything like that. Trust me. It ain't for everybody. I'm going to let y'all know that now. Now, uh, did, I don't even know if I got fighting tonight. I didn't even look. Let me see. Did I even get fighting tonight? But um, I will tell y'all now that this regiment that I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on it for a while. Um, probably about probably about a year. Uh, I'll be on this regiment for about a year. Um, okay, so they got fighting tonight. I can't ever get fighting tonight. But let me return to the gym. Um, I will say this, though. I recommend anybody that's trying to get in shape to definitely join like a boxing or MMA gym because when I do my workouts at home at my gym, they got the air conditioning bumping, you know, you got to wear a hundred sweats, a hundred different, you know what I'm saying, uh, pants under your joint. You got to get like a sauna suit because you're not going to sweat at all inside these gyms that like LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, uh, you know, what, what's some old, I can't remember the old ones, hold on. Looks like you're on a win streak. Keep up the good work and hopefully you break the all-time record of the UFC. Good luck, buddy. Check in with you later. 
Yeah, but um, oh, um, was it Bally's? I think it was. I think that's what the old ones was called, Bally's or something like that. But those type of gyms, yo, you don't really get that much of a crazy workout because you don't sweat as much. But at these boxing and MMA gyms, yo, I swear to God, I walked up the steps, walked in the gym, I shook five hands, and I was already sweating. Like that's real life. Like your boy was out here almost dead off of shaking people's hands. Like, it was crazy, but. I've been at the joint for about a week now. Um, I'm used to working out now, like, like constant, like how they work out. So, you know, I haven't threw up in about uh, four days. Um, haven't had to take a smash during the session at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I eat something before I go in, like a granola bar with yogurt or something like that, just to make sure, you know, I'll, I'll have all that acid building up, you know, that's trying to make me puke and get lightheaded. Um, but I will tell y'all, uh, hopefully by... I say mid September, um, I'll have like a new camera where I'll be doing like basketball workouts and stuff like that at the courts, and you know I'll film all that stuff, me dunking and shooting and all that crazy bull crap. But um, this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys like the fight. Um, if you like these topic videos, let me know inside the comment section. Um, thumb up the video if you do, you know. But um, I'm out of here, man. Peace. What's up guys? I'm the Toy Forever and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Y'all dudes stay up on these video games all day while y'all girl is in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. It's rough being a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. Bye sexy.